If you like arcades or ever wanted to own your own, then Firebase Industries has a simulator for you. It's called Arcade Craft and it's awesome. I'm Zach Scott and this is Quick Play. What's up guys? Zach Scott here playing a new game for Xbox Live Indie Games is Arcade Craft. I'm inserting my coin, I'm pressing start. This is an arcade simulator, meaning it's my responsibility to set up an arcade and make it profitable. Think of it as like lemonade stand, but for, you know, the arcade aficionado like I am. I'm gonna start a new game, and it's 1980, the start of the gaming, the arcade gaming craze once we moved past uh, electromechanical games and pinball and really started getting to the nitty gritty of, uh, you know, actual video games. Uh, let's see, thank you for, uh, you know, the late 70s was really the start, but you know, a lot of businesses picked it up and started making dedicated arcade games, uh, the dedicated arcades in the 80s. Uh, this is not really a game that I'll probably be playing long term, long term on my channel, but if, it, if it's something you want to see more on my channel, something like this, uh, more videos of this, uh, look, I, basically she's saying that I get a budget, you know, and I make money and stuff, there's a, the building costs money, blah blah blah, it's a simulator, we get it. Time to name my arcade. What should I name it? Let's see. Uh, Zach Scott Arcade. <laughs> um, let's see. Hold on. Let's go. Up to, let's see. Uh, yeah, but if this is something that you would want to see on my channel, uh, more than this video, this is a quick play. But uh, if you want to see it more, be sure to like the video, leave some comments, let me know. I'm probably going to play through a couple years here just to kind of show you the gist of this game. Kind of do a quick play, leave my review. I played it already. And my re my review so far is that it's 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 pretty fun. It's a distraction. I don't uh, it, I don't mean distraction in a, in a bad way, but what I mean, yes, Zach Scott Arcade sounds great. Keep this name, yes. I mean, it's like uh, it's it's a really fun little diversion. It's like a simulator, you know. It's it's a game like you play, like The Sims, where there's no set, you know, like way to win the game, become victorious. You just kind of do it how you want to do it. And that's what's fun about it. It's a simulator. So, uh, this is the inside of my new arcade. Um, I, I have to make it popular. I got to get machines going. I got to start stocking it. So, here I am back here. And I got uh, some machines here. So, what I want to do is basically uh, start filling this place up. Purchase machines. Customize my arcade. Employees, that's locked right now. But uh, I can purchase machines. And so, we got... F uh, a couple different manufacturers right now, 40, Monaco, uh, let's see, Lunar Module, Space Rocks, those are pretty cool games, and they each, basically, you know, each game has, like, a set popularity, uh, that, it, you know, it's going to be popular for a while, it's going to peak in popularity, then it's going to dwindle, and you got to, you know, empty the, empty the coins out of it, uh, make repairs on it, get new arcades to fill your arcade with, uh, each arcade has a price, popularity, uh, different manufacturers, you know, and it, this tries to simulate without using the actual games. This tries to simulate, you know, how an arcade, how the arcades went through in the 80s, including, I think, in 84, there was kind of a down, uh, kind of a down period in arcade games. And uh, anyway, this is the kind of the golden era of arcades was in the 80s, so I'm happy to play the simulator during this time. The 90s would have been cool, too, because you got fighting games in the early 90s, but after that, man plummets you don't really have any really strong fads in the arcade till dance dance came along in the late 90s early 2000s i forget exactly when it came out. i think maybe it was just the early 2000s anyway so let's buy a few games i have a budget i'm gonna buy all three of these games delivering my machine they go straight to my storage room let's purchase so i got that one that's the japanese one we got uh lunar module yes and then Yes, different genres. Perfect. She likes that when they're different genres. Uh, also, uh, instead of I can also purchase vending machines, which are very popular. I know for a fact the jukebox, as I played before, is very popular. And let's buy one more arcade. Purchase machines. Uh, this one. There we go. I'll have three machines, which is pretty small for an arcade. I, I would think that my loan should be bigger. But I'm going to go here now, and uh, the first thing I want to grab is probably my jukebox. Going to want to rotate it, set it here. And you can basically set these different spots, and you can look at the details on them. Someone already likes this. Good stuff, yes. All right, I didn't even read what she said. I'm trying to get this to get this set up. This is a brand new arcade here in Arcadesville. Whatever the hell this is. 
I don't know what this place is actually called. Set him up against the wall, though. It does better. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's... There we go. Congratulations, your arcade has reached a five-star popularity rating. Try your best to maintain it to continue making the most money from your arcade machines. Agreed, I would love to do that. It's January. Everyone is enjoying their time spent at this arcade. Um, basically, I, I gotta make it by month by month. And right now, rocking a five-star rating in an arcade is good. I'm listening to what people are saying. They're saying Mega. They're saying Ace. They're enjoying it. They're having fun. Now, the jukebox, uh, you could kind of look. That's a five-star machine. This is a one-star machine. Not too many people are playing at one-star. One-star. So, uh, what I can do is let the popularity try to peak. This is kind of an evergreen thing. I can go to details. Uh, wow, it's doing really well. Price per play. Let's set it up to a dollar per play. And then just kind of get out of here. Excellent. You found out how to change the details of your machine. Right. Understood. Uh, I've noticed this is a hot spot in your arcade. Placing an arcade machine on top of it will increase its popularity for as long as it's active. So what do we want to do? Do we want to like move something like... What do we want to move there? Alien landing. You're coming over here. I don't know exactly. There we go. The hot spot. It's more popular now. Let's see it. Is there still a hot spot there? Yes. Lots of people are playing. Radical. So hopefully you guys see what's going on here. Uh, I'm just making our, you know, I'm, I have an arcade run up and running. I'm um, trying to balance the cost of things here. If something becomes really popular, I'm going to raise the price. It's simple economics. But right now, these are all pretty low. This thing is still extremely popular. There's no way for me to make this go above a dollar. I am considering maybe making another jukebox machine. I don't know how popular that would be, but I would definitely try it. Definitely consider trying it at least. Alien Landing is really popular. It's on this popular node right here. Um, your Alien Landing machine's coin box is full. Oh my god. Okay, so hold the Y. There you go. That's me emptying this. There we go. And uh, it's a pretty good idea just to kind of go through and empty all these machines towards the end of the month. I made it through the first month. Yes. Check out the stats screen. Uh, <laughs> the whole month of January looked like it took a day. How strange, but maybe it's just because we work inside all the time. So there we go. That's my, you know, increases in popularity and, you know, no decreases, no, you know, things like that. So let's just, uh, okay, new manufacturer Wave has a new game. Let's finish emptying these really quick. And then I'm going to want to stay on top of this because, uh, Wave sounds like a cool, cool thing. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Purchase machines from Wave, a new machine here, Lead Bullets. Sure, purchase it. Uh, now, that's going to show up over here in my shipping area. I kind of wish it would just show up direct. I'm going to stick it next to this guy. And uh, we'll see, you know, how long... This This is a five-star game. Let me... I set that down. Let me go to details really quick. This is popular, so let's raise the price. Did I do that right? Sorry. Details... Yes, I did. Now, as long as that square is popular, I, I should be continuing to make money on that. So let's, uh, this is a four-star game, three and a half stars. So Space Rocks is still doing good. Alien Landing decreased in popularity a little bit due to me raising the price. That kind of worries me. Let's go back to details. Decrease the price. I thought the popularity node would really aid it, but maybe not. Uh, so this game is pretty, what happened? Something felt like it broke. What happened? I heard a vibration go on. All right, let's just uh, empty this. Rockin' this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an angry player pounding on my machine. I don't want him to mess it up, so I'm gonna take him out, escort him out of the arcade. Don't get angry at that. I'm gonna empty this for all the money I can. It's almost gonna be time for me to buy another arcade machine, but you know, right now we are we, we're kind of running low on money. February is almost over. Uh, this company just came out with a new game. Lead Bullets is not doing very well. Alien Landing is though, especially at five stars, which is a sweet spot in the arcade. This guy's four stars. This guy's three and a half. Eventually, all the arcades will become less and less popular, and that's just kind of how it works here. I wish that weren't the case. I wish people always loved all the old school games, but I know that in real life that's how it is. I'm spending a lot of time emptying games. I maybe don't want to, you know, 
mess with them too much. And I got $3,000, but a $625 expense coming up at the end of this month. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, though. Everyone's like mega rad, etc., etc. This game's still pretty popular. 5 out of 10. Uh, I think that's my arcade itself, in general. No, 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 that's how many arcades I have. I only have enough power. <laughs> February 30th. <laughs> As if that date even exists. Alright, your monthly summary has been updated. I just got word that the manufacturer Monaco has some new games available in the store. So yeah, we got we don't have very many new machines purchased this time around, but let's go take take a look. Uh, customize my arcade pillars, floors. Uh, I wish this would say what each did. Seasonal stuff. I don't really want to put anything seasonal, but let's take a look. Pumpkin or Christmas tree? No thanks. Neon? No, I'm okay. Graphics. I, I'm assuming these things kind of make it more important. Kind of make the, uh... Somehow. Okay, pillars. The color of the pillars. Kind of want to make them red, but do I want to spend a thousand dollars on that? I just don't know the impact of customizing my arcade. Uh -huh. Employees is locked. Let's get this new game from Monaco. It's Alien Landing. Japan another Japanese... No, no, I already have that one. This is new Trident. There we go. Yes. Make sure I have enough money. Right now I'm di dipping to the negative zone, meaning I have an expense coming up that doesn't seem, you know, like I'm going to be able to afford that. The land of, of your machines will impact the popularity of your arcade. Place your machines against the walls or other machines to take advantage of this. Try not to leave empty space behind the machines. That's right. The back of arcades look kind of crappy. That's okay. And after this I should... Oh, hot spot coming up. I'm gonna try to try to take full advantage of this. I'm gonna try to move this over here. Gnarly. Hopefully that's okay. That seems kind of weird. Let's move this like this. I'm not sure that I care what games go where. Everyone seems to be having a good time. Uh, let's empty some more of these. That is definitely a five-star machine there. Lunar Module, once again, is really rocking it up. Space Rocks is rocking it up. So you see how this works, right? I just keep emptying my coffers and, uh, you know, my machines get more and more popular. I think I can squeeze in one more machine purchase this month. Let's take a look at what's really popular. Lunar Module seems to be popular. Space Rocks is popular on its own. Trident is not popular. Uh, alien Landing and Lead Bullets. I think we need another Alien Landing game. Let's uh, let's go ahead and purchase that really quick. Who makes Alien Landing? I'm gonna try to go ahead and do this the right way. I know you're allowed to buy multiple machines. If this doesn't do well enough, oh god, I hope it does well enough. But if it doesn't, man, I hope it does. Okay, this Alien Landing is popular. Uh, throughout the course of this game, new releases will definitely impact. Um, the popularity of other games. Home releases will also impact the popularity of games. So there we go. I'm profitable again. That was a good choice to buy the other game. Lots of crazy stuff happening over here. These games seem to be fairly popular as well. Uh, so far, nothing has, has broken. Anything really, really popular. I just don't know. Alien Landing still seems to be pretty freaking popular. As does the jukebox. I almost want to buy another jukebox just to see what will happen. But I understand if it, you know, if it's not going to do very well for me. I'm not very good at learning when to raise the price. It's kind of just a means of balancing the demand. I raise the price as much as I can. My particular arcade is only three stars popular. Monaco has a new game available. Yeah, so I don't even know. Difficulty. I can't even afford another arcade right now. I really think anything over than 25 cents is just not a good idea for my arcade. But I'm going to go ahead and try to switch this up a little bit. Or maybe make it more difficult. There we go. Maybe Lunar Module being a higher difficulty will allow for more money. I, I just don't know. Maybe more people will play it. Now I'm about to go ahead and make a, make a purchase on another arcade. He says, whoa! And that's either good or bad. It's hard to tell. And maybe w when it's in red, it's bad. It's hard to say. 
pick up who? This guy's getting angry. You're out. He's winning. I haven't quite figured out the exact system. This guy's having a kind of a good time. Still a fairly popular game. Okay, time to buy another machine. We got a new Monaco game, Wild Blimp. Uh, that's a good price. Let's take it back here. New game. All right. Gonna need a little bit more money. These games are both doing fairly well. I'm, I'm sufficing with two alien land or two lunar module machines or two alien landing machines are doing okay. I don't really have any other five space rocks is good, but I mean like it's gonna get to the point where I'm gonna have to start um, updating my my uh, my power. I can only afford two more machines. Congratulations, your alien landing machine has paid itself off. From now on, everything it earns will be pure profit. That's actually good to know. Which one's alien landing? This lunar module. People are saying yikes to that, so let me just go ahead and switch it back uh, to medium difficulty. I wonder if I can... Sorry, make this one a little more difficult. Maybe there'll be one that's high, one that's low. But that's that. I guess that one's paid itself off too. Warped. I don't know if warped means good or bad. I need to relearn my 80s lingo. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna bring it over here. And you're gonna go over here. No, that's a bad spot because I can't tell what's going on. I can even see. Gnarly. Yikes. Again, it's hard to t It looks like your Space Rocks machine has been damaged. You should consider repairing it. Which one's Space Rocks? Monthly summary. And she, there's a there's a word that's, okay, let's see. Let's repair this. Details, $100 repair. I think that's an okay cost. There we go. Let's get back to earning some money now. Someone has put out a new game. Let's, let's empty all of my machines. Wild Blimp is still not extremely popular, but let's see this over here. Lunar Module is doing okay. Space Rocks is doing okay as well. Can it hold a higher difficulty? Yikes. Trident is also doing really well. Let's make it a little bit higher difficulty. Gotta, gotta spruce it up, you know what I mean? Warped and yikes. Alright, I think I have enough money to buy this new game that's, that's out. It's halfway through May. Purchase machine. Wave has a new game out. Oh my god. It's that. Oh, qualify lap. I need one of those machines. I gotta save up for it. And I'm gonna have to charge probably a little bit more. But that's the only new game right now. Uh, right now, we're doing pretty good. I kinda do want to make a pop machine though. Yeah, confirm that. Alright, let's see what we can do with the pop machine. Maybe we can stick it right there. Details. Charge a little bit more for it. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna need... Boss. Yikes. Ouch. Who did that? What happened? Someone start kicking it? It's hard for me to tell what's going on sometimes. I'm gonna try to save up for that sit-down machine. Oh, that, this one's broken, maybe. Okay, let's... Details. Oh, a $400 repair. This machine's not really that worth it. Let's sell it. I don't think I'm gonna spend, you know, $400 to repair that machine. That was an alien landing. We already have an alien landing here. And it's set on... Let's, uh, let's do some details here. Let's make it... Send it back to easy, or medium. And then, uh, into the coins. You know, I don't want to rip anyone off. If we only have one machine, that's not fair. So we're almost into June, and I'm gonna need to get a bunch more money. We're, get, we're gonna have enough money for another machine, most likely. Who did that? Something else break? 
something else break already. Gosh dang it. Uh, details. This is a, another $400 repair. This game was never that popular. Uh, it hasn't even paid itself off. Jeez Louise, but if I sell it... It's got word that the manufacturer's millions of new games available in the store. Check them out. Let's sell this. Yes. Uh, now I'm going to have to go ahead and buy. Let's see, who's this new one? That one looks really cool. I don't have enough money. Come on. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and empty these. I should have enough money really soon. I do want to be able to pay this off or buy this new machine. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't know when I truly become popular, though. I will have enough money to pay off my expenses. Don't you worry. I don't like that there. Let's put this over here. There we go. Jams. Hey, hey, don't mess with that machine. Lunar module, space rocks. What other games do I have? Alien Landing, Trident. This is a new game. Let's go into details here. Let's up the price and see what happens with this game. So I'm gonna need some more money, and that's it. Hey there, I'm the best video game player in the world. I love to beat the highest score on one of your machines. If you let Bobby play, he will dominate the machine, and during that time, it won't be making any money, but also during that time, your arcade's popularity will get a boost. If Bobby doesn't beat the highest score, your machine will have made no money. Okay, if he does, the machine's popularity will increase. Uh, yeah, try it on Space Rocks. There you go, buddy. Which one's Space Rocks? Ah, yes. So he's going for the high score in Space Rocks. That's cool. I would love for that machine to be even more popular than it is now. That's a really interesting uh, feature of the game. I've not seen that before. We're almost done. We're halfway done through 1980. I'll probably play through the entire 1980. And then what the hell was that? I heard a sound that was like, yeah, yeah. Mental. Yeah, this game's not very popular. Let's go ahead and bring it down a notch. I brought it down in cost. I, it's really hard to rock a 50 cent price on some of these. I don't know how people do it. I'm just barely gonna have enough money to buy a new machine next month. The popularity is going up. I'm gonna go ahead and, I guess I won't empty space rocks until he's done. I do have enough to buy a new machine, which is great. All right. And then now we just wait for uh, for July to come. Honestly, I'm still trying to bring in enough money for a sit-down machine. I would love to put that here. Monthly summary neutral as a new game. Summertime school is out. More kids, yes. This is great. Okay. Did this guy beat it yet? Highest. Is he still playing? Come on, man. This game needs to be the, the best game ever. Alright. This game is really popular. So let's see. If it's popular and I bump it up a notch, is that going to be okay? We'll see how that goes. Is this guy done playing yet? Jesus, he's been here like a month. Trident is not very popular. Let's go into details. Let's make it a medium level game. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get that sit down game. I think my arcade could really use it, and uh, it's probably gonna be what will set my arcade apart from a lot of other arcades in the town. This game isn't very popular either. What's the deal? Uh, who cares? Uh, I'm not going to empty it until he's done. Good news, the highest score is beaten on your Space Rocks machine. Yes, thank you. Ouch. This game is really popular. Details. 50 cents. Medium. And guess where this one's going.
Right there, actually. There we go. What happened? Someone do something bad, did something break? Oh, this game's full of money. Oh no, there's a power failure. Turn on all machines by picking them up and placing them. That's not good. I think we're gonna get them all. This is how you turn on power in real life? I don't think so. Scam? What do you mean a scam? It's not a scam. It's one of my most popular games, man. Someone beat the high score. Gotta be sure to empty this one a lot. It's really popular. I'm gonna have enough for that sit down machine, but let me. I'm gonna go ahead and wait till next month to get it. Hopefully, it's gonna be popular enough still. Even though it looks like your pop machine is out of soda. All right, let's refill it. Out of soda, yeah, more soda, please. We gotta keep the patrons happy. Everyone's saying that this one's lame, even though it's really popular. Look at all that money coming in. Wave has some new games. All right, so let's check out these games here. We have both of these. We have all of these, I guess. Wave has a new qualifying, no, has this game, and also qualifying lap. That's even cheaper than before. Space Insects and Phantom, I gotta get those. Let's go ahead and try for one of these sit-down games. Oh, so this one paid for itself. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. All right, let's uh, deliver this. There we go. Now this, to pay for it, it's gonna have to be like 50 cents. That's a, that's a 50 cent game, whoa. I would like this, a new game that you like to sell me. What's this, what's this from? A new format for action. I, I would love to, I don't have enough money. Lunar Module Home version has been released. It'll affect the popularity of my machine. Hold up really quick. Let me let me empty out these. I didn't have enough money to buy that guy's machine. I didn't know he was coming by right now. Uh, let's empty this out really quick. It's August. My my uh, my arcade's rocking. Got a four star rating. Which one's Lunar Module? Oh, this one is. This one is it. It's not popular at all. Jeez Louise. Let's just put it on low. This is an easy game if you want to play it. Oh well. Who cares if people play my game? This one has paid for itself. Congratulations. I'm about to about ready to buy another machine halfway through. It's a really popular game. Man, that game is really popular. All right, so let's see. What do I want to do? I do want to go ahead and buy another machine right now. Purchase a machine. Wave has a new one out. This one's brand new. It's called Fairgrounds. Purchase 10 machines, which means next up I gotta up update the building's power. Oh god, who's doing that? Who's messing with this stuff? Oh no, this just broke. Details, repair it. It's only $100, sure, repair it. This is a legacy game here. And there we go. Space Rocks is not popular right now. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it down to medium. It should be a popular game, I mean. Am I right? Let's move it over into the, uh, move it over into here. This machine is gonna go here. Actually, this machine is probably gonna be best off if it's over here. I feel like I need a new pillar, your monthly summary. Forty has a new game available, multiple genres, doing three stars on that. What just happened? Is this game full? It's 
game is very popular. What kind of what kind of price do I have this at? Fifty cents, and it's still going. Wild Blimp is not doing so hot, but it's pretty much as good as it gets. Fairgrounds kind of sucking. Lunar modules kind of sucking. What happened? Got to empty this machine really quick. Qualifying lap is doing very well. Space Rocks is okay. It's about time to buy another machine, but really I need to focus more on power. All right, let's think about this for a second. It's about fall time. Customize my arcade. Ooh, five thousand dollars for more power. Rip off. What do you mean rip off? All right, yeah, let's set it to there. I gotta get five thousand dollars for this. My goodness. People think this is still pretty rad. Maybe I'll make this 75 cents. Oh, dollar. All right, upgrade to seasonal stuff to celebrate fall. I can do that. But only after I, uh, let's see. Barf. Don't barf, dude. You're helping me pay for my arcade. Alright, it's time to upgrade the power just in time for fall. Lunar module is really not doing well at all. Alright, so let's see. Let's do it. 20 machines. We got an upgrade. They're really thinking this is a scam. What just happened? Something break. Oh, this is out of cola. All right, let's empty the money here. This guy's not having any fun. We're still drawing in a lot of money for it, so. We're about time next month we're going to buy some new games. Space Rocks, really? Let's see. We got any better games for popularity? Come on. Monthly summary has been updated. Wave has some new games. I'm not I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm I'm trying my best. This game is just really has a lot of longevity. It's crazy. Okay, coin slot for Space Rocks is jammed. There we go. I like to move this one over here. All right, empty coins. All right, I guess this is now paid for itself. Is that what that's saying? And so that's crazy. It's crazy talk. Shites, who's doing that? Who's hey, whoa, you're gonna break my game. You're out of town. Alright, do we have any new games? Purchase machines. Wave has a new game out. Katana Blade. That looks pretty exciting. Let's get this out here. Details. One hundred dollars? Yes. Let's get this somewhere like right here. There you go. Maybe even over here. I don't really know how, the, how this works. I gotta like figure out which machines were doing really well and then get more of them. Space Rocks is not doing well. Uh, Wild Blimp is not doing well. Fairgrounds is doing pretty good actually. What happened here? Is this full again? Jeez Louise, I gotta have to pay the bills. I feel like I should have bought multiple machines on some of these things. Oh yeah, I need to buy some seasonal stuff. 
Uh, customize your arcade with some seasonal pumpkin. Yes. We're now all Halloween up in here. Fairgrounds is doing really well. Lunar, lunar module is just not doing well at all. Let's go ahead and put it back to medium. I don't know if there's any any answer to that, but it was just not it's just not doing well like whatsoever. This game was apparently paid for itself. But I feel like I almost need another racing game. Here we go. Let's uh monthly summary. 40 has a new game. Let's move Katana over here. Let's move you right here. Let's move Qualifying la Lab. Right there. I just didn't want anyone else to walk in with another like op offer that I just can't turn down. Fairgrounds is doing pretty good still. Lunar, no, it's not even being played. Is it okay? Should I just sell it? It's not even being played. Let's just keep it for now. I think I think selling it might be one of those options that I'll go go for in the future. These two games are killer games, doing really well the, like the entire time. I guess no one's gonna be walking in my office for November. Maybe in December someone's gonna be offering up um, custom purchase machines. So Forty has a new machine. It's called Crawlers. Let's go ahead and confirm it. It is really coming along. Of course it is. I'm an arcade mastermind. What do you think? Just kidding. Uh, let's just put that here. That looks like an okay idea, maybe. Oh, who's messing up? What happened? Oh, my jukebox broke. Details. Christmas is around the corner. It wants me to customize with Christmas stuff already? I guess I'll do that. Maybe I was a little late with the October stuff, but uh, it's November 17th. We got the latest games. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, show our, okay, purchase. Customize my arcade, seasonal, Christmas time. Oh yeah. All right. Now I almost want to sell some of these. Still, a lunar module is just not popular at all. I don't know what I can do to make it popular. It's not making any money. This kind of makes me want to just sell it. But I'm kind of curious. I'm more curious what happens if I let it just stick around. So, but I, my ideal thing would be to sell it to a collector or something. Oh, this is empty. Fill it up with more sodas, yes. Uh, empty coins, there we go. Space Rocks is doing horrible, Fairgrounds is still doing okay. And this game is kicking it. We're almost into December. And I, you know, really, I haven't made that much of a profit. I mean, especially, what does this mean? Did it finally pay for itself? I think that's what that meant. All right. Okay, did I not end up buying the seasonal stuff? I thought I bought seasonal Christmas stuff, but it's still Halloween. Oh my God. Maybe I accidentally bought, no, I did buy the Christmas tree. The he where the hell is it? If I bought it, oh, it's, is it back here? Oh, I need to freaking put it here? There we go. Christmas tree right over there. Does it help? Let's see if it helps boost Space Rocks. Space Rocks is a half right now. I'm gonna try to empty this. I don't know if another seller is gonna be coming around or not. But uh, so far for the first year, my arcade has been profitable. Of course, like most businesses, it's all about, like I'm, I'm doing really well right now, but it's gonna be more about, you know, like, sure, it's profitable now, but what's next? I gotta keep expanding my business, that's just how it is. I'm gonna sell this. Details, oh, it keeps dropping in price too. Sell, no one wants to play Lunar Module, there's a home version. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, purchase a machine, probably the latest from 40. Ooh, a new Battle Siege game, which I've never heard before. But it's like a cocktail machine. Let's go ahead and go back here then. Pick it up. This is like a decent place to play, right next to everyone right here. There we go. Two people can play this, so let's uh, let's do details. Let's go ahead and charge 50 cents for, since it's like a two-player game. I guess I don't know. Space rocks is not doing well either. What happened? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! God dang it! You broke it. Whoa! Who's freaking out? Come on, man! Stop going to different machines and breaking them. What the hell? Space Rocks, he broke. It's not doing that well anyway. Let's go ahead and sell it. Sorry, we got rid of a classic. This is what happens. Oh my god, tons of stuff is happening. Jesus. My arcade is too popular right now. Who is kicking stuff? Okay, no one is. It's Christmas Day. Everyone's here in the arcade on Christmas Day. They think it's lame that this is so expensive, so let's go ahead and bump it back down, at least until it becomes popular. Running an arcade is freaking hard, but it's it's the end of 1980. I'm not even born yet when I'm playing this, so... <laughs> my goodness gracious, all my arcades are getting stuffed. I need to hire an employee to empty these machines or something. But uh, guys, if you want to see me... Yeah, 1980 has come to an end after this month's expenses. Your arcade is currently sitting at, whoa, oh yeah, almost $5,000 in earnings for the year. That's how business works, though. I mean, you don't really make that much money in business when you start out. So, um, yeah, that's a pretty good... I can look at stats and stuff. 1981 is up next, but I won't be playing it uh, for this quick play. I don't know how long I was playing, but uh, it seems more often than not the quick play series really just means I play for a long time. <laughs> If you guys want me to continue this type of game on my channel, or this exact game, leave a comment, like the video, favorite it, whatever you can do to help out. I'll see that if the response is good enough. Um, you know, I'll, I'll play it. My, my my review of this game is that it's a pretty fun, pretty fun simulator. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've I've read their website. They have a lot of updates planned, and so that's really cool. Um, it's a great way to pass the time. That's kind of what simulators are to me. Just a kind of a great way to sit back, relax, pass the time, kind of micromanage stuff. Uh, that really caters to, you know, my desire. <laughs> that particular desire of mine to micromanage. At times when I want to micromanage stuff. Sometimes I don't want to micromanage stuff. But particular case, yes indeed. So guys, thanks for watching. This is Arcade Craft. It's available now for the Xbox Live, eventually the PC. It's pretty cheap. It's on Xbox Live Indie Games. Come back next time for more quick play. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, all you got to do is click the like button. Come back next time for more, and until then, check out some of these videos.